Und zurück, meine lieben Freunde, ich bin's, euer Odo. Wir sind zurück bei Elysium. Ähm, wir haben übernachtet, es geht uns jetzt wieder etwas besser. Wir haben einige interessante Dinge kennengelernt. Ah, wir könnten jetzt mit ihr reden. Jetzt ist nämlich Kim noch nicht bei uns. Machen wir doch gleich. This room has said all over it. Reminds you of your own. Okay, wir könnten das Ding jetzt auch nehmen, ohne dass Kim es mitkriegt. Weil Kim ja nicht dabei ist. is stocked with drugs. Plus an o There it is. The orange sun we're in blister pack. You feel almost nostalgic for it. Okay. Feels like That's gold it. in your hands. Light and precious. Mm -hmm. Look at the toothbrush. Used quite a lot. Okay. Wir haben noch mehr Drogen gekriegt. Eins auf Motorik und Psych. Und minus eins auf Moral. Bist du irre? Nicht schlecht. Nicht schlecht. Gehen wir mal rauf und suchen wir die junge Dame. Und fragen wir sie nach ähm, dem privaten Zeug. Sie meint, sie sollten das nicht jetzt tun. Mhm. Okay. Junge Dame. Mm -hmm. Hello, officer. What brings you up here again? Hmm. Your room again. Let's talk more about this so-called assault. Ah, yes. The night before I saw you in the hallway and reminded you you're a police officer. Mm-hmm. One of the first things I remember doing in Vivisium. Or you was only the room, the sound of the motor vehicle. Steam in the bathroom and darkness. Did you hear something Sunday night from my room? It's one of the first things I remember doing in Elysium. Wow. Elysium. You don't hear that term often. Did you hear something? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Did I have any visitors? I can't say. Probably not. Sounded like you were flying solo. Okay. Soweit habe ich das schon selbst mitgekriegt. You mentioned loud disco uh, music. Yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestrations prime among them. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about OO, the better. Ostentatious orchestra. Oh, uh, we're huge, where I come from. I was very young then, of course, like seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Okay. Yeah, we go on. All right. Mostly it just gets hard, doesn't it? Okay, wieder so eine Entscheidung. <laughs> das passt zum Sorry Cop. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. Yeah. A slow, sad song started playing. Like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of that time you were yelling along to it. What was I singing? 
was I singing this? Show her the empty case of the smallest church in Sancy. Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church. Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. Oh, thank you. It was about that. And also... Yeah? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Okay. When you say wounded, do you mean that in a cool way, like a wild beast? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, ja, stimmt. Hey, wir sind bald sorry, Cop. Für jedes I'm sorry kriegen wir Punkte. Then what happened? Don't be. I was going out later anyway. It didn't bother me. Then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Ah, uh, yeah. That's so me. What did I do? Are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? Making this up. I would never behave like that. <laughs> yeah. A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. <laughs> then I think you passed out. Please tell me there wasn't anything else. It frights me to hear this. Tell me there was more. Interessant. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. Okay. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Thank you. We'll say nothing. Say nothing. She feeds herself another cigarette. What's classy about Sunday night? Okay. Just saying. Uh. Oh. 28% no? I need to look her in the eye. This is a white check. You may retry it. I thought, no. Yeah. Hmm. Munitions being stuff, I guess I feel. Soft, light brown eyes oh. look back at you. Success into the space behind your eye sockets. You see the smoke rise from between her painted red lips. She's beautiful. Ah, can we visit doch noch verführen? I have bad news for you. Oh no! Oh no! What? You know these guys? Who? Me? <laughs> yes, you. He's talking about you, you boring stiff. Logic is not boring. He had me already helped. You too. That's... Me? What did I do? <laughs> These guys are compromised. She's got them singing along to her tune. The little bleeps and bloops you trust for info. You can't trust them anymore. Pass. Oh my god. What? Believe it. I can logic and drama not believe wegen ihr? Nein. What is her plan? Does this mean she's been lying to me? I think it's safe to assume. Yes. Mr. Thespian here hasn't been speaking up. If he were, I suspect there would be peons to her truthfulness. Like this. She is a lady most fair and just. <laughs> Thank you, Drama. In his defense, to reduce him to such inadequacy, she probably had to employ half-truths more often than outright lies. Okay. That is correct. And omissions too. Rhetoric. Du bist auf der Seite von Willenskraft? A little. They're all still of limited use, interpreting things to the best of their ability. Maybe they add flair or something. I wouldn't know. I don't add flair. Danke, Willenskraft. Deswegen mag dich auch niemand. But when it comes to assessments of character and factual accuracy, they are not to be trusted. 
not with her. Ah, aber mit anderen schon. Can I trust any of them ever again? Don't be melodramatic. You can trust them. Just not with her. Ah. Sie hat uns um den, um den Finger gewickelt. Which ones exactly are affected? There's no way of knowing. At the moment I'm afraid it's best to assume all of them. Nur dir kann ich trauen, Willenskraft? Bullshit, man. I ain't compromised. Ah, Electrochemistry. Du bist die einzige Compromise. Du bist die einzige um, Korrumpiertheit. Especially that guy. That guy's the most compromised one in here. Ja, danke. Das ist mir schon selbst aufgefallen. No fucking way, man. I just want a drag of that sweet menthol Ziggy. <lacht> really? Quick, tell me what's under her jumpsuit. Glory, truth, softness, protect her. She wants you. Ah, uh, ja, okay, gut. Electrochemistry is absolut out of his mind. I take it back. He's got it pretty bad. But this next guy's on another level entirely. <laughs> She likes you. The crown head is a boring condom. He's jealous. This is human nature. Aha. The crown head is a boring condom. Human nature. Okay, question. How did this happen? How it always does. Through subtlety. What can I do? There's nothing you can do about it. You are how you are, and she is how she is. Things will go as they do. This, this corner had a command suggestion with crown head. Can't you turn them normal again? No. What use is this then? It's better to know you're being played than to be played without knowing it, is it not? Das stimmt. Okay, what is her plan? You can't draw a sound conclusion. The one he usually does says, She may want to control the information rollout, not to become a suspect. She may have a past she's escaping, unrelated to this case. You doubt it's something truly insidious. Ah, aber es ist etwas insidious. See? It's oddly moderate, probably compromised. Ah, wer weiß, vielleicht bist du verrückt, wohl ich schon. I've been talking to myself long enough. That's okay. Don't worry. It's only been four or five seconds. You've got this. Say that loud, miss. Are you manipulating me? Don't say anything. Just close your eyes and let the moment pass. For a second, her face disappears from your cornea. Only a silvery negative remains. Still smiling. A tired smile. Oh, schade. Ich mag sie sehr. Und sie manipuliert mich. I need to talk to you about your ear. Let's return to this later, miss. Oh, good sign. The same small, heavy door. No lock in sight. Push. It's barred from the inside. You hear the bar rattle in the brackets. Okay. Keine Chance, das aufzumachen. Hello, officer. Your room again? Yeah. I hate to say it, but you've got sad old place. What does that door lead to? I have no idea, officer. Okay. I hate to say it, but you've got sad all over the place. Yeah. I've contaminated it pretty bad. <laughs> the Out contamination here. spreads from room to room. First, I escaped upstairs. The sad got that too. Then I found the handle for the summer door. Okay. What exactly is the nature of this contamination? For me, it's a mix of me with a lack of cleaning services. How about you? Hmm. Talk around the establishment is, you have an industrial sad spill in there. Hmm. Somewhere below, military grade sad is dripping off the walls. <laughs> you should say the first thing. It's honest. 
it will lead to introspection. Ja, aber Willenskraft hat gesagt, ich brauche euch nicht trauen. Vor allem ihr nicht. Ihr euch so so. Something is bad. Point to your head. In my head. In the past. For me it's alcoholism. Miss. Okay. Das könnte sogar passen. Immerhin ist es Inland Empire. Das ist bad. That's where it always comes from, isn't it? From the head and from the past. Eating white and filled with doom, gaseous, invisible, deadly, it's everywhere. Anyway. Yeah. That, yeah, is the kind that consoles and sweeps under the rug at the same time. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Schauen wir uns den Toten an. Schauen wir uns den Kim, was ist mit dir? Bist du noch da? Oh, Polizei. Yes. The woman. RCM patrol officer's uniform winces as she notices you. I would really prefer not to talk to you right now. Okay. A patrol officer is the lowest rank in the RCM, below lieutenant and sergeant. Okay. Hold on, you're a patrol officer. Yes, I am. Was machst du denn hier? I don't know. I mean, uh, why would I want to talk to you? Have I wronged you? I've done that to a lot of people. It's cool to see another cop. I thought him and I were the only ones. God, I don't know why. I'm just trying to do my best. Let's just do this. Okay. Why? Bring word off. The end. Yeah, we're making cut off. Sorry, Cole. No, you haven't wronged me. It's okay. Something changes in her. It's pity. Pity comes over her. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Let's talk. What did you want? Mm. What does one talk about with a fellow officer? So, what precinct are you what from? precinct? Am I from? God, he doesn't know. Fucking deranged lunatic. Okay. You're getting an intellectually unsatisfying vibe from this conversation. Maybe you're doing something wrong. Okay. Dann lassen wir es mal. Wir sprechen später noch mal mit den Wahnsinnigen. Was ist das? Get a really reality low down. Okay. Check. Schauen wir mal, ob der Koch da ist. The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. You said you're friends with Manjana. Is that true? The mention of Manjana gets his attention. He smiles and delivers a whole slew of unfamiliar words and lively gestures. 
Then he falls silent again. Their friends. Thank you, empathy. What is in the port you're making there? The man says a couple of sentences in that strange language of his, and then seems to wait for you to speak. I'm pretty sure he asked you a question. He doesn't know your language. You can just say something cool in return. Mercury rising. Run your fingers through your hair. Sorry, I don't understand you. Horse hmm. need more vodka? He picks up a bottle from the shelf. Okay, so it's vodka that keeps the men happy and in good spirits. Clever move by the Union. Mm -hmm. Vodka Borscht! I love it, Rakan! <laughs> Turn it the fuck up! Können wir diese Nektar endlich loswerden? Uh. Warum ist alles an mir in irgendeiner Form? Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea. Honestly, the place is a powder keg. Yes. Northern, turn your fingers clockwise. Turn the vodka up. No, no, vodka. Turn your fingers counterclockwise. Cut it. I'll leave the cooking to you. I have business. Okay. Wir können die Leute noch mehr. Nein, wir drehen den Wodka ab. Vielleicht kannst du dann uns nicht mit Evra. The cook gives you a long, disappointed look, then turns the stove off and seems to wait for you to speak. I don't think I need anything else. Stay masculine. <lacht> wir haben das Borscht abgedreht. So, Kim. Lass uns doch mal den Toten anschauen. Wichtig. Wichtig, wichtig, wichtig. Oh, Kuno. Der Tote liegt hier unten. Finde ich gut. Was sagst du, Kuno? You missed a good show before. A kid came by and completely fucked the tree to pieces. He fucked the tree up. Fucked it good. It was porno. Okay. Stop using the K word. It belongs in the past. Total retards use language like that. Congratulations, Kuno. Just made yourself a retard. Oh yeah, kids. Not an approval. Don't you mean desert kipped? This all so superficial race mystery runs deeper than you understand. <laughs> Wish I could have been here to see it. Now I have some questions. Shoot that shit at Kuno, pig or not? Okay. Ah, die wäre schon cool um 15. Some warfare and physical instrument. Das ist halt eine Hürde. Aber können wir uns dann. Ah ja, na klar, wir haben die 25 fürs Dings. Ah ja. Na, machen wir erst, wenn wir. Wenn wir das Geld für den Scheck haben. Schauen wir mal. Lies on the ground among the remains of an absolutely demolished. Pinewood branch. It's gently laid on one side. Beautiful. Wipe a tear from your eye. Well, that's down. Great job. Wise race mentor. <laughs> Mr. Measurehead has done a good job. Nothing mm -hmm. is too broken or compromised. The victim is ready for a field autopsy. A field autopsy? Yes. One. Investigation of the scene. Two, initial examination of the victim. Three, field autopsy. Four, transportation of the body to the morgue. We are on number three. 
Okay. The RCM's four-phase murder scene processing manual. Good, the good. What are they on about? Cops gonna cut his shit up. Don't we have someone else for this? A doctor? Don't we have someone else to cut this shit open? Got it. Got it. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. First, what exactly is a field of autopsy? Come on, officer. You know what a field autopsy is. You've done a hundred of them. What you yeah. do know is. At 18.9 kilometers, the dormant shield volcano, Corpus Windy, is the world's highest summit. <laughs> and the failure of the 38 single, Epui de Saint, to crack the top 20, was the death knell of disco. But <laughs> the field autopsy is, you have no idea. Clap your gloved hands. Let's get in there. Why don't you know what use are you? I don't know what shoes are must you. must have me confused with the Copperpedia. <laughs> Who's the Copperpedia? I think I need to talk to you, him. You, sir. You are the Copperpedia. Ah, uh, thank you. Copperpedia. Have your gloved hands. Let's get in there. Yeah, let's get back to the paper. There truly is a time for everything. Even for yellow gardening gloves. However, they are lacking hygienically. I suggest you get in there in limited capacity. All right. I don't know. What do you mean? I mean when I need you to. Until then, I should handle physical contact and you should take notes. Okay. Just fill this in, right? Show him the red field of form in your ledger. That's right. Ich bin so gut. You knew it. Because you inspected your ledger. The lieutenant is relieved you know the protocol. Yay! <laughs> Open your ledger at the field autopsy form. The dead man stares in silence as you crack open the ledger. The bright red paper is covered in boxes and lists describing the condition of his skin and organs in three parts. Above those, an 11 field info form needs filling out first. It begins with... First assistant. Let's jump ahead to the three part summary. Let's pause this off. First assistant. Uh, write the initials HD. Write Raphael Ambrosius Gusto. Ah, yeah, that's kind of wrong. Yeah. The corpse is indifferent to your scribblings. Just lies there. The next box says Coroner's case number KK57 0803.0815. Okay, thank you. KK equals Kim Kitsuragi. 57 equals Precinct 57, followed by his date 0803 and time of arrival 0815 on the scene. He's indexed the case after himself. Not to you. That's because he doesn't want to bring up the messy question of your initials. Oh. Shouldn't we file the coroner's case under me? Technically, I arrived at the scene before you. And what would that make the alphanumeric? HDB 41-0803. Help me out with the time of day, anyone? 11, 11. It's meaningful. Nein, nicht 11, 11. 10, 15. It's understated. No time of arrival. Aber wir sind nicht am 8.3. angekommen. Mhm. Nehmen auf jeden Fall nicht Inland Empire. Good. Let's go with that. The Lieutenant is quite surprised you managed to come up with an adequate case number. Ha! Wir sind einfach großartig. Wir haben den Nom de Guerre. Lely. 
It's better than nothing. Write it down. What's next? Uh, date of birth? Mm -hmm. NA. Hmm. H. Roughly 50. Roughly So I hmm. Try 40. The damage is so extensive, it's better to err on the young side. I'm gonna write for He yeah. nods. Mondial. Fair to olive skin from the Isola of Mwindi. This is as vague as it gets. You might as well say yeah. whitish. Okay. Write it down. The pudgy mess of curdled meat looks neither Mondial nor anything other. Mm, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, können wir sie loswerden, diese ekelhaften kleinen Kinder? Mail. Big shit of sex! Right, fuck you, right, Mail. Right, pig's gonna have sex. Okay. Nein, wir sind Polizisten. Nor does he look male, with his pregnant belly and mm -hmm. indistinguishable face. Date of Where's death. Where's he with March 4th, 51? Okay. What else? Nine. Body identified by is non applicable. Ten. Case number is the same as the coroner's case. Okay. HDB forty one zero eight zero three dot one zero one five listens motionless with the cargo belt still around his neck. Only one box remains. Evidence of treatment. None. At least not after the initial examination. Okay. A strange word. Treatment. treatment. Okay, what exactly is treatment anyway? Agreed, no treatment. I'm not sure. Interfering with the body's position or wounds post-mortem. Don't overdo it. It's okay to be unsure. I'm not so sure. A silent nod. The lieutenant places his gloved hand on the corpse's chest, as if in preparation. Okay. We should start the post-mortem. The, the page. corpse cannot feel Kim's hand on his chest. It no longer meaningfully interacts with its surroundings. A thicket of boxes okay. on red copy paper tries to answer why. Ah, uh, okay. Examination summary, internal examination summary, description of injuries. Hmm. Hmm. Clothes. The deceased wears armored boots and white briefs. The make of the briefs is Babrodin, I think. Let's see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <gasps> see, it's happening. Babrudin, yes. Inexpensive. Size M. Color white. Okay. The disappointment is palpable. The red haired thing <laughs> was expecting something more lurid. Right. It down. The boots are ceramic, vitreous enamel. They are fused to his skin from blood flowing downward post mortem. Removal of the boots is left for processing. Okay, write it down. The boot has a serial number. It's E50. Dot one double o dot one triple o. The lines between the plates are in the ah, shape of the number. The number is purposefully concealed by the design. Okay, write it down. Tattoos. Okay. The upper torso is covered in a single continuous tattoo resembling a map of the night sky. It reaches from the right shoulder to the heart. The ink is blue and white. The assistant has a clear <coughs> photograph of the markings to be added to the case files as document A1. The okay. photo is taken on the scene using a triggered mini. The deceit has a belt for airlifting cargo around his neck, tied with a hangman's knot. Color, yellow. Length, 3 meters. There is a buckle on the other end. Right well down. Reached, athletically built, measuring 1.8 meters. Generally consistent with age 42. Preservation is good. Ambient temperature below freezing. Ah, uh, yeah. Body hair is light brown, 
Distribution is consistent with age. The deceased had male pattern baldness. Hair is combed back, short. Okay, touch the corpse's hair before moving on. Write it down. Short light brown male pattern baldness. The hair under your latex fingers feels cold to touch, wet. Okay. Was sagst du, Katze? Ah, nicht da drüber laufen. Sollen wir sie streicheln? The stench is suffocating. Strands of dark brown hair start sticking to the latex of the glove, like thread of a rag doll's head. There must be brilliantine in there. He's combed his hair back with oil. Oh. Write it down, adding the brilliantine. Lividity is consistent with hanging. The head is congested. Contusions are present on the head, chest, and thighs. Consistent with stones thrown post mortem. Low velocity. <laughs> low velocity. Low velocity. You think Kuno doesn't know what you're talking about? Velocity was fucking <laughs> Talking shit about Kuno's velocity. In addition, there are bite marks on the face, scalp, and chest. Consistent with predation. Okay, right down. But a man for high velocity. Oh, das wäre nett von uns. Sollen wir das machen? Ah, uh, ja. Ja, echt. Mark. The lieutenant uses a small folding knife with the other hand pulling on the belt. He starts cutting into the polyester. The stench is horrid. After a while, it's obvious the material cannot be cut. Okay. The steel wiring. Ah, there's too much of it. We need to remove the belt so we can get to the ligature mark. You've got just the right tool for that. The chain cutters. Mm -hmm. We are just good. Oh yeah, I'm prepared. Good thing we got these chain cutters. Always good to think ahead. Now... Okay. We need to cut the belt to see the ligature mark below. Carefully. With as much precision as you can. Ah, uh, that's kind of problem out, son. My pig is gonna fuck his head off. No, he ain't. Your pig's a boring fuck. Ooh, physical instrument. Oh, man. Look for a good spot. Yes, I'm cool. Pig, I agree. The belt is equally tight around the whole circumference of his neck. Swelling over the edges like white bread, rising from the yeast. The knot is the weak spot. The chain cutters fit in there. Steady now. Like a flower arranger. Two cuts and it should come loose. Ah, sehr gut. Das gibt uns plus drei. Wir werden das dann nicht sagen. Das gibt uns sicher irgendwelche Abzüge. After some deliberation, Yay. you sink the cutters into the knot tying the belt together. You squeeze the rubber handles together, sweat forming on your brow. Snap. The knot is slashed. Another cut and the belt falls apart like a flower bouquet, revealing the dead man's neck Yay. and a dark red ligature mark around it. The rope rises to a point, leaving a gap in the ligature mark. The suspension point is in the back of the neck. Okay, the lieutenant has Neil Kelzer running his blah 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 blah. Okay, good. Hemorrhaging is observed on the skin, above and below the ligature mark. The mark is well pronounced, consistent with a drop from 1 or 1.5 meters. <laughs> okay, sie haben ihn raufgehieft und dann fallen lassen. Chest is intact, normal contour, abdomen is protuberant, pelvis intact. Genitalia. Okay. Now, let's get up and see. Yeah, Kuno. I fucking knew it. This is clearly what they've been waiting for, ever since the autopsy began. The lieutenant is trying to make it as boring as possible. Genitalia is male and unremarkable. No evidence of injury. Okay. Write it down and move on. 
Uh, show of the kids. Uh, keine Ahnung. Like the genitals. Will uns das interessieren? Glauben wir, dass da irgendwas ist? Uh, write it down and move on. Back is symmetrical and intact. Upper and lower extremities are intact, but asymmetrical. There are combat injuries on the right hand, thigh, and hip. Okay. Combat injuries? In addition, I see smaller, residual scars, too numerous to count, covering about 30% of his skin. Oh, kriegt er fahren? From wounds sustained over two, maybe more decades, dispersal and accumulation indicates long and active combat duty. Powering is extensive, way more than a law of fitness. Mm -hmm. We have a real museum here. Battles, wars. Right, down. last item. Hands. Okay. Then moves on to the other hand. Pick up the hand. His flesh is cold. I see. Pleased to meet you. Where are you oh. from and what's your name? Ah, das ist mein Reptiliengehirn, das da mit mir spricht. I'm from what the? I'm only fucking with you. I know where you're from. From Cappadocia. <laughs> And your name is Il Corbo. What can I do you for, Il Corbo de Cappadocia? It's good to hold your hand. Did you like it when I stroked your hair? I did, Corbo. I did. Reminded me of when I was just a small boy. Before this happened to my face and my body. You did me a kindness there. Danke, gern geschehen. We should do this more often. Be close like this, I mean. Ah, ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob das... Hands are clean. No sign of injury from struggling. Okay, das ist interessant. Also er hat sich nicht gewehrt. Were we expecting any? I was. Maybe I'm just not seeing them. Honestly, this stench is making it hard for me to think at the moment. Ooh. That's all for the external. Well done. What next? <sighs> Internal examination. Central nervous system. I have nothing. Do you have anything on this man's central nervous system? Of course, there is a moral to be drawn from it. A moral to this story. If I may add the moral of this story, nope, right in A. What would that be? <laughs> the dead man looks, too, with barely contained excitement to hear the moral of his story. The brain is very vulnerable to compromises in its blood supply. I think that may well be the moral of every story, officer. <laughs> Good. Miss Coskeletel. Purge fluid is coming from the mouth. Not injury related. Eyes and tongue protuberant. Higher uh, bone. Let's see. Hey, what? Purge fluid is coming from the... Ah, okay. Uh, flüssigkeit kommt aus dem Mund. Hmm, not injury related. Eyes and tongue protuberated. Higher eight bone. Let's see. With his eyes almost closed. The lieutenant puts his hand on the dead man's throat and begins to massage it, gently. A rotting smell erupts from the mouth. Purge fluid runs down his lips, black and viscous. Yeah, jack that fucker off! The hyoid bone is fractured. The rest of the musculoskeletal system is intact. Unremarkable. Respiratory system. Back hunched as if in prayer, he begins to pry open the dead man's jaws. Exert more force. Both hands are used. Oral cavity shows no lesions. The victim has received a dental implant, possibly after a combat wound. Mouth swollen. Hemorrhaging present in mucosa of the lips and mouth. From here, okay. it looks as though the clown faced man is screaming. The tendons of his jaw are torn apart. Hyoid. Ripped from the force of the lieutenant's hands. Okay. Look inside the dead man's mouth. No scream. No sigh of relief rises from the darkness inside. 
It's humid there. Sickly sweet air, unlike anything living. You feel like you're about to throw up again. Straight in that mouth of his. Nein, das werden wir nicht tun. Wir sind heute nüchtern. Und wir sind seit zwei Tagen unterwegs und wir haben fast nichts getrunken. It's hard. Once more you taste stomach acid in the back of your throat. A contraction. Your throat pumps a little something from your stomach and into your mouth. You're forced to swallow, just to keep looking. Inside you see darkness. Just a mess of meat and darkness. Okay. There are ancient mysteries down there, Kobo. Ask me later. Okay. Hemorrhaging present in mucus. Mouth snaps shut before you. Right. Hepatobiliary. NA. Why don't we have anything? Ah. Are you a hepatobiliary expert? Okay. I don't think so. Neither am I. And that's it? That's it. Same for toxicology and serology, N.A. Unless you have untapped reservoirs of knowledge there? Reservoirs? No, but do they take obscure trivia and <laughs> tidbits? <laughs> what obscure tidbits and trivia? Uh, the completionist in me wonders if there's something we could still do. Like a toxicology screening? At this stage, I doubt processing will find anything, even if he was brimming with cocaine. But still, you should add a request. Cardiovascular. The body exhibits heavy lividity. Blood has gathered in the hands, feet and neck. Hypostasis is visually consistent with the hanging. Right, that. Gastrointestinal. Okay, this is the last field on the list. He looks around to the ground, the pool of... Pieces there. Mm -hmm. This will do. Digested semi solid food in stomach. Voila. Touches the coffee, bloated lower abdomen briefly. Write it down. Omit the. Voila. What's next on the list? Description of injury summary. Let's see. We have bite marks, contusions on the head and chest, and a ligature mark encircling the neck. You'll need three fields. Leave a fourth one too. What's the fourth injury field for? Nothing. Just in case. Head, chest and scalp bite mark injuries. Predation by birds has caused damage to the body. Odontologist does not need to be consulted. And your opinion, officer? Opinion, fatal injury. Non-fatal post-mortem. Agreed. Next injury. Confusion. So, the scalp bleeds from a post-mortem head injury. A stone. The injury does not have the rim of an early inflammatory response. A perpetrator on the scene has confessed to causing it post-mortem. <laughs> at maximum velocity, fucko! Yeah, of has course. Has confessed to causing it at maximum velocity. Right, it down. Coagulated blood sticks to his scalp and chest where the countless stones have hit the dead man, beneath the description of injury. Two boxes. Non-fatal right. water. Next. Ligature marks. A dark red abraded ligature mark encircling the neck, with a gap on the nape measuring, let's say, seven centimeters. The hyoid bone is fractured, the cervical column intact. I see hemorrhaging on the skin, above and below the ligature mark. Depth of the mark one centimeter. No signs of clawing on the neck. The Körper hat gemeint, Below the note, so... two customary boxes wait to be ticked. The man's head jerks to the side. The ring around his neck is visible. The Körper hat gemeint, ich soll ihn nachher noch mal anschauen. Hm. Und vielleicht ist noch irgendwas anderes dran. Es ist alles zu einfach, zu klar. He is deep in thought, eyes fixed on the bright red ring around the dead man's neck. Why do you say that? 
I just took a whack in the dark. I'm serious, I don't think this was the injury that killed him. Okay, why don't you think it was fatal? I arrived at this conclusion through the psychic arts. Why weren't his hands tied? A big man like this, I would tie his hands when marching him to the gallows. There is no reason. Uh, Honestly, I'm not sure there weren't marks on his wrist. That part got blurry for me. The stench. But you are right, I was ready to call this. Now I think we should leave it empty, at least for the time being. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap this up. I pronounce this field autopsy over. Ooh. First, how did it go? We have wieder ein level up gemacht. Nicht schlecht, mit der ganzen autopsy. What I now? I copy of that autopsy form. Then I will drive him to Faubourg. Rip out the copy of the autopsy. For processing. He looks at the dead man one more time, then at the slip of the red of red paper in his hand, then at the corpse again. He's thinking, did I miss something? Hmm. 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 I'm sure we didn't get everything. There's always something. Okay. Let's back him, take him away, let the lieutenant take the body away without further examination. Then, tell me something, dead man. Shoot, loony Rony. At the autopsy, you said you have ancient mysteries. Oh, yes, Kobo Milobo. In the gift horse's mouth. Tracts and wakes and waterways. Ancient materials buried. As in Mont. Hmm. But to where, brother? Just a small gulp away. My beloved Kobold has small gulp away. Uh. Come back later, Kobo. Amuse yourself. Look at the mail. Didn't establish probable cause. Memento mori features. If possible, also see me in your dreams. Leaven wir und schauen wir mal, ob wir die Perception besser kriegen. Auf eine Art und Weise. Und dann versuchen wir das gleich nochmal. Perception ist in welchem Bereich? Da, Motorics. Vielleicht sollten wir sogar Drogen nehmen dafür. Schauen wir mal. Perception haben wir schon irgendwas plus? Nein. Reaction speed, esprit de core, composure. Hmm. Kind of perception die wir verbessern können. Oh, plus eins of motorics. Plus eins of physique, plus eins of intellect. Now that you've acquired some stimulants, it's time for a little pick-me-up. Time to detect. Would it make me into a super cop? Wait, but Kim is here. He'll be disappointed. This is gonna be really bad for my health, isn't it? Okay, my body is ready. Let's do this. Try some speed. Okay. Um... Wait, but Kim is here. See, that's your problem. A lack of confidence. Speed can help you with that. And, Kim, it can help you with everything. Okay, das ist wichtig, diese Probe. Ich möchte die schaffen. Uh. It's not ideal, no. But you need the zeal. Let's face it, you're never going to finish this case without cheating. Hmm. Okay. You raise the peptide bottle. 
Press one nostril <coughs> closed and inhale furiously. Cool to have you back. Office is super is calm. Almost immediate. It tastes the world has been constant. waiting. And now the taste is slowly receding into your throat. The rush is growing in intensity. Your little heart pounding like a bird. Oh, we have a secret head. task completed. A sweat breaks out across your brow. Your and let's be honest, there's a little chest pain. The good kind, of course. You may <laughs> want to blast a nose of fed or something. Hmm. You could work with this high. <laughs> like literally work. Solve the case. File some papers. Maybe clean up your hostel room. Then solve another case. Then start a side investigation into the paranormal. Then build a radio <laughs> computer. Thank you, Roger. Time for a little truth. Tell the lieutenant you did some. Clear the air. Feels great. Are there any downsides to uh, all? Cool, cool. Okay. Spring, spring. Everything is clear around you. You're ready to concentrate on the next task in the task chain. Okay, we are naming a health charge. The man is decomposed. The and lieutenant then, adjusts his glasses and takes a deep. And then we'll see what this is. 45%. Also 8 or higher. Come on. You run your hands over <sighs> the victim's cold body, Spinner. his limbs, his torso with its swollen organs. Maybe you sh his fingernails have turned dark. They're chipped and quite long. There is dirt under them. Okay. That's all. Do you think we missed something? You can't shake the feeling that there are more secrets concealed. Yes, there's something the we are not before. seeing. I've got a good feeling that there's more to this corpse. No, let's just leave it to the processing guy. Okay, well, we are in leave of Mortis here. He is disintegrating. We need to refrigerate the body if we want to conduct another examination, and we need to do it fast. Can he just hang out here for a while longer? Okay. We have seen one fridges. Wasn't there a giant ice bear sarcophagus below that building? Yeah, an absolutely colossal, sucked in literally, in the shape of an ice bear. Yes. Now. I've rarely been disappointed by the size of a giant ice bear fridge, <laughs> but I think we should still take a look at it first. Make sure it's big enough before we carry him over. Let's move. Okay. With every hour, whatever we are looking for in the deceased will become harder to find. Okay, we make the following. We will perception erhöhen. We need a perception check. Das? No, um, das war hier, oder? Nein. Ah, doch. Da Map war das. Was Ah, wieso dort das so? The hanged man da. Ja. Wir erhöhen Perception noch einmal. Mhm. Und dann schauen wir uns the nochmal den Typen an. The Lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. Ah, 58%. Komm schon, jetzt ein Recht und dann Siebener. Wir schaffen das. You really ought to wait until oh. you're refrigerated. Digging around in this mess now is proving hopelessly difficult. Lief. Selber Schuld. Selber Schuld, René. Na gut. Dann schauen wir zum Refrigerator, ja, wo er ist. Na gut, das machen wir aber das nächste Mal, meine Herrschaften. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Bis später.